Good morning, grade two. How's it going today? Today is Monday, May 4th, 2020, 5-4-20. Um, if you're using your assignment book or want to make sure that you have these things written down, um, our word of the week for this week is the way, the truth, the life. Uh, you're beginning work on African-American inventors in your hardcover reading book. And unfortunately, that story is not on AR, but it is packed with information. So please read it to find out about uh, those four African-American inventors. Uh, I think as you're reading, it's encouraging you to think about um, how are they the same and how are they different from one another, okay? You have an epic read today and an AR test to take on that. Great job on your AR for April. And now we're going into May with our new AR goal. Your goals are set. Uh, they're slightly lower just because we only have through the 20th of May and instead of going all the way to the end of May so that I can have that score uh, recorded in your grades and then be able to do report cards, okay? Um, for math today, we'll be looking at the back of um, worksheet 125B from last Friday. Remember the... Uh, not a well you're going to make a graph today but um, the choices of uh, and getting the tallies of the votes okay for your favorite choices okay so um, you were have to have sent me a pick copy of that which I think most of you did and then today we'll talk about how to do the back so have that page ready to go we also have a worksheet to do that goes with our lesson and again yours is white not blue okay mine just happened to be a blue piece of paper and then a lesson to go with that. Um, if you haven't already turned it in, some of you already have. Uh, your family's page is due today. There's just a little bit on the back. If you had a chance to do the Sense Makes Sense, that's great. If not, it's okay. Um, I didn't send materials along for that one. Um, you have a new page that's due on Wednesday. And this one, I did send the, some of the materials. I didn't send everything, okay? I did not send ice, a bowl of ice. Hopefully you have some. And I did not send shortening. Now you can use, um, like some people have um, coconut oil uh, that they can, you can use. Um, you can just use vegetable oil. It works better if it's a more solid type of shortening. Um, so even butter would work, okay? A little bit of soft butter, that might work as well. Um, and uh, read what to do and you get to be a polar bear. How about that? And then you um, have, to have to do that to be able to write on the bottom, okay? So reading about habitats, what's in a habitat? Alrighty, and that is due on uh, Wednesday, as I said. Okay, what else? Um, sounds like your junior park ranger activities are going just fine, and then write your letter today. There you go. Well, let's do a little bit of math together. And we'll start out with our graphing part, okay? All right, so I'm gonna go to my other camera and you be ready. Remember, if you have to pause the video, go right ahead. Okay, so on this side, the only thing that you needed to finish here would have been your tally votes um, that you had. So for drawing, I ended up with six. Riding a bike was four. Reading a book was eight. And playing a jungle gym was two. All right, was two. And so now I'm going to put those over here and remember what it said. If there are more than seven votes, you had to do your graph by twos. And I had one that was had eight. I just wrote real small here what each of them were so I didn't have to keep flipping back and forth. My drawing had five, riding bike had four, reading a book had eight, and playing on a jungle gym had two. Okay, so that means I'm going to do my graph numbers counting by twos. So my first line is zero, next is going to be two, then four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Now, if you didn't have any that were six or that were more than six, then you could do zero, one, two, three four, five, six, okay? So it just depends on how yours worked out. Um, if any of yours happened to have 18, you would have to go by threes. Zero, three, six, nine, uh, 12, I forgot where I was, 15, 18, okay? All right, so then you know how to fill out the graph. So with drawing, I would have to go part way 
between the four and the six, and that would be shading that in. I'm not going to have you watch me shade in my graph all the way. Riding bike goes right to the four, and I would shade that in nicely. Reading a book goes up to eight, and I would shade that in, of course, all the way. And then playing on the jungle gym goes just to two for me. Okay, so you might have different numbers that you have to use on the side here, depending on what your um, outcomes were, okay? Sound good? So that's how you finish up that. And you don't need to send me another um, copy of the front side with your tally marks. I'll know what your tally marks were by how you fill in the graph, okay? And that is that. All righty. Next. Oh, I forgot to remind you at the first part, I need you to have some of your tiles, okay? You have a baggie that has 20 tiles. So will you pause the video and get your tiles, please? All right, so we are going to put our name on top and we are going to talk about finding the area. Finding the area. Now we have found the perimeter before. That perimeter is around the outside, like a fence around your yard. And the area is the inside part, okay? The yard inside. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take our tiles and we're going to fill up each rectangle. So first let's do that top rectangle, number one. And just like when we were doing an array, we look at how many rows there are and we write that number on the line to the left and then how many are in each row. One, two, three, four. So we write a four up on top. Now we need to move those out of the way to be able to finish this up. When you're finding the area, can you see my four there? When you are finding the area, your number sentence is just like your array number sentence. So how many rows? Two times four. And what does it equal? Our area equals eight, and here is a very important word, square tiles. Square tiles, eight square tiles. I'm gonna write with my marker, I think. I don't know if the pencil is showing up. Maybe it is for you, maybe not. Let's try number two together. So, looks like we've got three rows. Let's see how many are in each row. Five in each row, okay? So we have three rows and there are five in each row. Now we'll finish up here. But you know if you have five in the top, you're going to have five in the middle and you're also going to have five at the bottom, aren't we? So, do you already know what your answer is coming up? Our number sentence is going to be the number of rows times the number in each row. And what is our area for sh shape number two? 15 square tiles. All right, I'll just go over this information up here. So hopefully you can see that as well. And maybe you could see it just fine. It just wasn't showing up for me on my screen. All right, let's try one more together. All right, so we again have two rows, right? Do you have an idea of how many are going to be in this one just by looking at the shape on top? Need one more, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna move this up a little bit so you can see. We have two rows and one, two, three, four, five, six in each row. Slide this down a little bit to write my six. 
move my tiles aside. My number sentence is two rows times six in each row. Two times six is 12. 12 square tiles. How about that? All right, if you turn the page over, you have two more to do, and I would like you to do these two on your own. So fill it up with the tiles. How many rows goes here? How many in each row goes here? Do your number sentence and tell me how many square tiles fit in shape number four. And then the same for number five, okay? I have to try something out here. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, some of you might not. All right. If you are using, look at that, I'll help you with this one. One, two, three, four, five. So five rows, how many can fit in each row? One, two, three, four, five, six. We wouldn't have enough, would we, if we're using just our little baggie? Because five rows times six in each row is 30 square tiles. What? You have only one left to do by yourselves. Oh, that Mrs. Stoltz, she's such a nice teacher. <laughs> All right, the only pic side you have to send me is this side. Just send me a, a picture of this side so I can see how you did on number four. All right, so that's it. All righty, and uh, if you have any questions, give me a holler. Practice your memory work for tomorrow so that that is uh, fresh in your mind and ready to go. It's one you've done lots of times before, so it'll be really quick and easy for you to learn. And start working on your hymn for Friday as well. And since there's, or excuse me, Tuesday's memory work is easy, maybe start working on Thursdays already. What an idea, huh? All right, may the fourth be with you. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Thanks and have a great day.